I'm going to show you a really cool trick that's going to allow you to filter a fixed log in real time so you can actually make it easier to read. This is a really cool trick that I've been using for some years now. Comes in handy. So let's take a look at this directory that we're in ls-ltr. So we're going to use problem2.log for this particular situation here. Actually, we'll use fix.log. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually modify the the results of the file. So we're going to do a grep. Or actually, you know what? Let's just cat the file. Let's cat fix dot log and let's pipe that to the awk command and let's get our little uh, curly bracket thing going there and we're going to be using the g sub command to do our substitution and don't ever forget to put your single quotes as well all right so the way this g sub is going to work is we're going to have our parentheses here and then within the parentheses we're going to have our separator here so we can put in what we're actually going to be searching for and and replacing so it's kind of find replace type of thing. So I can search for 35 equals D. So that's the string I'm looking for. And then I can replace that with some kind of a string, whatever I want. I can say order. And then I can put a bunch of underscores or whatever to make it stand out more. So this is most of the command, but we actually need to finish this off with some additional details here finish up our g sub and now invoke our print command and then we end with our curly brackets and our single quote and this should work unless i made a mistake here i do not see any errors i'm just double checking this this looks pretty good to me cat fix log pipe it to awk and then we begin our single quote here we end our single quote there we begin our curly bracket here and we end our curly bracket there and we are using the g sub command we have our open parentheses here close parentheses there and um, we have our thing that we're searching for 35 equals d comma the string that we're going to replace it with a little underscore this is just a visual aid to make it easier to see this i'm gonna go ahead and run this there you have it so now wherever there's an order we actually replaced it with that string but we did something a little bit silly what we want to do here is well not necessarily but we, we we're picking up heartbeat so one thing I can do here is we can actually take those out this may do what we need or it may do, need to do some more filtering but let's just see what happens no I just put the grep as V. I didn't put uh, what I'm looking for. So I want lines, every line that matches my search criteria that doesn't have the O in there. So there we go. Now we also have this uh, these fix engine messages, so we can filter those out as well. Now another way we can do this instead of doing an inverse search, we can actually just target orders because this is. Just for the purpose of this, this demonstration, we just want to see the orders so you can see how this thing works. So everywhere there was a 35 equals D has been replaced with order underscore um, whatever else I want to put in there. So you can change it to be whatever you want it to be. And that will make the log easier for you to read potentially. So you can maybe want to focus on a particular tag or something like that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to further filter this log by piping to another session of awk. But this time, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to search for, let's see, let's replace side. So side 54, uh, we just want, we don't want the actual value. Uh, well... Yeah, let's do let's do a value combination. So tag value pair. So let's do 35 equals 1 for buys. So I want all the buy orders. Instead of saying 54 equals 1, let's just say buy. And then I can use another symbol. Uh, plus should work here. Shouldn't be a problem with that, I don't think. 
So now we have by. So here we see this is a by, that's a by, that's a by. So we can further filter this again. We can actually add a, another instance of the awk. This time we're going to do something else. Can you know? Can you figure out what we're going to do? Cell. So we can actually see the sides both ways. Now, I don't know if there's any cells in this particular log, but if there is, it would stand out. See, I'm just scrolling really quickly because I can see the these, you know, indicators that I put in there. Like here, I can see there's no side of, actually, there's the 54 equals 2. What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong, folks? 50, oh, we did a little, uh, little, little logic error there. I did a buy and buy because I copied from the previous one. So you got to be careful when you're copying and pasting. Make sure you don't copy and paste something that you didn't intend to. So now if we search up, we can see buy, 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 sell. You see how quickly I can see this because of the visual indicator? So a bunch of cells. Uh, that's a buy, that's a sell, that's a buy, that's a sell. So this can really, really come in handy. And this is something that you can do on the fly. And it's really cool because it's not like you're running some kind of a fix, fixed reader tool that may remove things that, that are important. Because you're getting everything. We're not stripping anything out except for what we're explicitly filtering out. In terms of, I'm specifically changing 54 equals 1 values to a text equivalent. I'm not touching anything else. So I know exactly everything that's being touched because it's very, very specific. As opposed to if you're running some kind of a tool, which you don't know what it's filtering out and what it's doing and all this kind of stuff. This is only doing what you're doing. It You're in full control here. All right. So there you have it. Uh, that is today's lesson. If this was helpful for you, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. It takes a lot of time to do these videos. So I really appreciate the support. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Come on. Why wouldn't you? All right, guys. Have a great day.